Hi, I'm Ilaf. Welcome to M365 World Blog. Today we'll discuss how to enable safe list as template option in a list setting of a modern team site. So let's begin. Today we'll discuss the issue, some information regarding the safe list as template option and the fix for this issue. So the issue is very simple. Safe list as a template option is missing in the list settings of a list in modern team site. I'll quickly switch back to my test lab and show it to you how it looks like. So this is my test site and I just created this site collection and also this list. I'll just quickly go inside the list settings. So if you see, I do not see save list as a template option over here. So there is some information that I would like to share it with you guys about this feature. SharePoint Group Connected Team Site do not currently support list templates and for other site collections, if you want to make this work, you need to enable custom scripting on those sites. And uh, custom scripting is disabled by default on modern group connected team sites, non-group connected team sites, and as well as on communication sites. Now, if we talk about the fix for this issue, to resolve this, you need to enable custom scripting on the affected site collection, which is the modern site using PowerShell. So this is the command and uh, this is the specific parameter that we will set to false to enable custom scripting. And uh, once you have executed this command, you need to go inside list settings and you'll see the option to save list as a template. All right. And once you save the template, it will go inside the list template gallery and you will find it inside the site settings. And just a quick note, the extension of the list template file is .stp. So now I'll quickly switch back to my test lab and walk you through the process. I have already opened my Windows PowerShell as an administrator. You can do the same. And once you do that, you need to connect to SharePoint PowerShell module first. So I'll connect to SharePoint PowerShell. That is done and the next part is to enable custom scripting on the site which is this one. So I'll execute this command on my affected site. And additionally you can use this command to verify if your custom scripting has enabled or not. So I'll simply use this one. And if you scroll up over here, you'll find the property. Deny at customized pages. So if it is set to disable, it means that custom scripting has been enabled on the site. So to verify this, I'll quickly go back to my list and I'll just refresh this page. So here you go, we have the option to save the list as a template. I will quickly show you a demo of how this works. All you need to do is enter the template name. I'll say list a template file. And I'll use the same file name in the template name and just a description. So I want to include the content, so I will select OK. And the operation completed successfully and you can find it inside the list template gallery. So here you go. You can also download it from here and re-upload it in a different site. It's pretty simple. Here it is. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you have any queries or any kind of feedback, you can post it in the comment section. Have a great day.